Recently, somebody asked me this question. He wanted clarity on the difference between lag, float, and buffer. So let me explain uh, the, dif the subtle differences between these things. So let us assume that okay, this is a project network. This is task one. And let us say this consumes, this takes 10 days to complete. And there is a task two, this needs another 10 days to complete. And there is a task three, which takes another 10 days to complete. And there is a task four, which needs another 10 days to complete. And let us say there is a, there is a constraint here. The task two, task two can start only after five days waiting time. There is a five days waiting time between task one and task two. There's a five days waiting time here. So an example could be after pouring concrete, if task one is pouring concrete, then we should give enough time for curing it. So it is a typically you have to wait uh, so that is this this uh, this waiting time we call it as a lag so that is a, a constraint like after completion of task one i have to wait for five days before i start task two we call it as a lag there is a lag between task one and task two so a lag is just waiting time now Take the case of task one. So now let's say actually we may need only nine days to complete this, but then I'm adding one more day as a buffer to manage the contingencies. So the actual time required is nine days and I'm adding one day as a buffer. So that is buffer is something that is built into the task for uh, risk management, for the contingencies that may arise during the project execution. So buffer is something that gets built into the task, whereas lag typically is across tasks. So lag is waiting time. Buffer is something which we build into the task to manage contingencies. Now, in this case, now th this can be treated as a network. Task, task two can start only after task one. Task three can start only after task two. Let us say, Task three, task four can start after task one and yeah, this, this must get over uh, before the task two or rather this must get over here uh, before the completion of the project. So if this is the start of the project and if this is the end of the project, now, there is a kind of parallelism. Task 4, task 2, task 3, when task 2 and task 3 is happening, task 4 also can happen in parallel to it. So, task 2 plus task 3, the total duration of this is 20, whereas for task 4, the duration is 10. So, then we say that this task 4 can float around uh, for 10 days. This task 4 can float around for 10 days because there is a, so this is float. So there is a parallel, two tasks are happening and the combined duration of this task 2 and task 3 is 20 whereas task 4 duration is only 10. So task 4, even if it gets over, consumes 20 days to complete, the project will not slip. So that is, that is a float. To summarize, lag is just waiting time between tasks, buffer is something that we inbuilt into the task to manage contingencies, that is buffer, and float is the amount of time an activity can be delayed without affecting the end date of the project. Typically, if there are parallel tasks, uh, one task duration is, or one path's duration is lesser than uh, another path. The difference we call it as float. 
in this case task 2 plus task 3 is 20 plus task 4 is 10 so in this case 20 minus 10 10 becomes my float I presume that now things are clearer uh, you should be able to differentiate between uh, what is a buffer what is a lag and what is a float thank you